Outside of that, we did see some movies for you guys. So uh, we got some reviews here. Um, and I guess the first one I'm going to start with is a film called Freelance. And this was last week's uh, Regal Mystery Movie. You know, and this film, uh, I saw, I think I saw that uh, news about it coming out. And it sounded a little interesting um, just because of the people involved. But um, um, in this film, um, uh, there's a special forces um, operative who's stuck in a dead end desk job and he reluctantly takes on a freelance gig to provide private security for a washed up journalist as she interviews a ruthless dictator. When a military coup breaks out, just as she's about to get the scoop of a lifetime, the unlikely trio must figure out how to survive the jungle and one another to make it out alive. And this film stars Alison Brie. Um, she's our washed up reporter. We also got John Cena, who's the uh, washed up security guy. And then we get Juan Pablo Raba, who plays this um, dictator who gets um, a coup attempted on him. You know, so basically Allison Breeze in his country to interview him. This is like his first really big, uh, big media outlet interview. He, he's kind of private, but he's trying to change his image and, um, you know, and the image of his nation you know there's opportunities coming toward this nation and then john cena is tasked with being her bodyguard and um for the most part man i was kind of disappointed you know with this film because you know john cena was involved and he's actually one of my favorite guys now i think he's really great as you know a pro wrestler turned actor i think he's probably got a bit more range than the rock you know what i'm saying a lot more potential with him especially we've seen him with the uh, peacemaker series and I'm just doing other smaller films, man. Every time he pops up, uh, what's the what's that vacation series? I think it was like Vacation Friends with a home. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's he's good at comedy, man. And he can get small too for the you know dramatic part. So I thought I thought you know this thing had potential, but overall it's kind of lent, man. It's like a really weak version of uh, Lost City. Uh, was that earlier this year? That, that was out? last. That was last year, I think. Last year, okay, yeah, that's the Sandra Bullock film. It's kind of like, um, you know, the, the, both of these those films are kind of approaching romancing um, the stone territory. You know, the same with this a little bit, but um, I just feel like this fumbled the opportunity that it had just with all the potential of the cast. We also have Chris Slater in this too, who is the um, guy that gets um, John Cena's character Mason um this assignment you know so so that like you got all this working with you man this cool casting this cool locale um and um and it just falls flat like like really bad man the things that I did like about it it's probably going to be the action man I was surprised that this thing is rated R which is also a weird choice you got a guy like um John Cena with a really wide fan base so why would you limit the potential you know by making it as bloody as it was but it was well well done you know i can't front man even though it was rated r and it is questionable like i said for a film like this but it was done really well man the, the, the action was, was great man i love that but but the action is not every, what this whole film is you know you got okay. a few moments of that this film is mostly a comedy um kind of film you know and it just falls flat with a lot of the comedy elements um john cena's underutilized allison Bree's underutilized i feel like the whole cast is mostly underutilized except juan pablo raba who's playing juan venegas and he was my favorite character in the entire movie like he was stealing scenery every time he was there he was having fun it seems like he was just written better than the rest of this the, the banter that was going on with the rest of these characters like cause it doesn't seem like he you know um was doing anything extra he just like his role was just meteor for some reason man I, I don't know i gotta look into possibly why or whatever man i don't know who wrote this or if it's a writer um it's directed by pierre morel uh, let me see what else this guy's done he gave me any clues um they i think he's the um attached i don't know you know what his credits are with these films but he's attached to paris with love peppermint taken um gunman um also district uh 13 b13 yeah so that's kind of interesting man so he has done some films that were pretty well received <laughs> or been involved with you know you know so that's crazy um but yeah this one i wouldn't go out to see it i think it is coming out soon it might be even out um this week actually let me see the date on this um i would just wait to be honest you know what i'm saying i mean i wouldn't tell you to to, to not see it but i don't think this is going to be worth the theater trip man i feel like you can um 
catch this, you know, some other time. Go see something else, man. There's a lot better stuff out right now. To be honest with you, um, whenever you told me that you had saw it um, or, or fixing to see it, the previews um, just reminded me of Lost City. Everything about it just reminded me of Lost City, uh, but it was rated R, and you kind of screw up by doing something like that because you don't get the audience that, you know. Yeah. Really, really limiting it, man. So so they're betting on John Cena's just being a big enough draw, like, and, and hopefully they could trick people and get their money back, but I don't think so, man. I've got a feeling this isn't going to do that well. You know, honestly. So yeah, that's crazy. Uh let me see. What's the uh... <laughs> Has it been released yet? Um, it comes out um the twenty seventh October. So oh, okay, okay. Week. Man, that that was like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So next Friday is gonna be out. Um, okay. Yeah, usually the 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 um the mystery movie at Regal is usually for a film that's gonna be out within the next three weeks to a month. Okay. Right? So, so it is cool though. We'll, uh, you know, we get some you know advanced, you know, film stuff, and it can save me a time, some time. But I mean, I you know, usually it's not bad because it's a five dollar ticket. So you know, I never really felt awful, you know, coming out of there. <laughs> like, oh, so that. Awful, but so when you I buy that, that, that film was good. That doesn't go. That 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 doesn't uh, factor in in your. Um... Yeah, you if you got Regal Unlimited, it, okay. it, you're not paying. Yeah, you don't. But if okay. you're a regular person off the street, it's five bucks. And you know what's interesting, man? Me going to the theaters lately, these have been the most um, filled up screenings I've been going to lately. Like even a lot of bigger uh, first run, first uh, weekend release films, man. Like these mystery, they're doing good with those as far as getting people in the seat. Like you know, and I don't think anybody walked out of this one though. Even you know, you know, there was some people that liked it more than I did. You know, but you know. It is what it is. 